Good afternoon, YouTube community. It's your boy, Ghost A4. Just want to do a little unboxing with you guys. It's been a minute, so I got quite a bit of stuff to break. Majority is going to be Marvel and Pokemon. Uh, first up is going to be from Whatnot Stream I was in with the homie Dave C. Yeah. And then the second Whatnot Stream I was part of was Alonzo Collectibles. This first one's going to be Pokemon related. I think this was just like a little giveaway. Frogadier. Pretty cool. A uh, little Gengar sleeve. Cool little Growlithe. All right, this next one. Got some. <laughs> I got some Meow Socks. It's pretty neat. Alright. And then a the little card. Professor Burnett. Pretty dope. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Thank you, Ghost. Appreciate you hanging with me three days in a row. Dave C. Yeah. Oh, man. Extra free read to say thanks, man. That's awesome. Too cool, Dave. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Definitely don't have this. Paldean student. Cool. I bought his dog a couple treats, so too cool. And then I got this little penny. I think it was like a one out of five that you get something like super crazy. Again, just definitely showing, showing support. This is my first hyper rare, so this is pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen one up close. Got a nice little hollow pattern. Pretty dope. Uh, one more package from Dave C. Yeah. And then we'll go on to Marvel stuff. You got an awesome packaging. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. You guys haven't already followed him, go on whatnot and just type in Dave C. Yeah. Basically it looks like this. <laughs> Get out of here. Ghost, for real, bro. Thank you. Free pack of Silver Tempest for that trivia win. Dave C. Yeah, dude. Too cool, man. Get out of here. Alright, so here's that free pack of Silver Tempest. We'll definitely make sure we crack that. And I pick it up this Alyssa Sparkle for I think like a buck or so. It was definitely under five bucks, so definitely great pickup on that. Uh, this is one of the little packs that I won. I'm gonna say, I think this is uh, Korean, so we'll probably just keep that sealed for memory's sake. And then I ended up getting this sweet slab for I think it was under 20 bucks. 
and I definitely don't have a subscription to CGC, so it definitely cost me at least 20, 25 just to get something graded from them. So definitely a sweet card. And if I'm not mistaken, this qualifies to be turned into like one of the little black label 10.0s through CGC. Dang, this looks awesome. Yeah, definitely didn't have that, so too cool. Uh, let's go ahead and crack open this Silver Tempest pack. What we're looking for this, and this is like a Lugia alt art. It can definitely fetch a pretty penny, like four to five hundred dollars graded in a PSA 10. I'm not quite sure what the card trick is, so we'll just roll into it. We got Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Halucha, Toby Dumaru. It's a little. I got Clink as our reverse hollow. Our rare is going to be Arcanine. Freaking awesome looking. Pretty sure that's our hit. We got Energy, Venomoth, Wallace, Lantern, and then here's a little code card for you guys. Appreciate it, Dave. You're the best. Keep going, bro. Congrats on the 5K going on 6K. Subscribers on YouTube and whatnot. All right, next package is gonna be from the homie, Luis Alonzo. Um, you can find him on whatnot as well, under Alonzo Collectibles. So I was in a character case break from this set. Um, Flare Ultra. I don't know what it's called. Flare. Marble Flare. Let me. So we got. I mean, these are like little bonuses, bonuses he threw in there. Wonder Man, a Sea Blast, a little Fantastic Four base. It's pretty cool. Next is going to be a Casey Parsons piece. Fantastic Four again. I don't know if this is. Yeah, so being that it's a higher number, it just it may mean that it's a shorter print card. Nothing too fancy, but definitely pretty cool. Got everybody back there. You got Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Thor. Wow, too cool. Uh, another Sea Blast, Harry Osborn. Little Badge Flare. Omega Red. We can pull this out of the sleeve and check this out. So it's literally like a little patch from the old school art of Omega Red. I actually kind of feel glue on the sides too, so that's awkward. Definitely remember that card as a child. Pretty dope. Again, that's kind of weird. I can feel that glue all over it. Another Casey Parsons piece, Fantastic Four. Marriage scene between Sue Storm and Reed Richards. A little base guy again. Uh, base Fantastic Four again. Base Fantastic Four again. Uh, then I think these are just some little freebies see through in there. It's pretty dope though. Drax. Too cool. Thank you, good sir. Much appreciated. All right, let's crack into some more Marvel. Um, this next one is going to be from 
Comp C, they had like a live auction. I think I picked this one up for like 25 bucks. This guy's going to be numbered at a 125. And it's kind of wide around the edges. Huh. Uh, but it's Carnage. Homie Carnage, man. Freaking awesome image of him. Freaking awesome. Get a little stand for this guy. Omega Red. All right, the next package is going to be all the way from China. So uh, a set came out probably about a month ago or so. Their, their upper deck is dropping so many marbled sets. It's kind of wild. Maybe they're just playing catch up or something, but. I didn't get any cards, or rather any boxes or packs of this stuff, so I just kind of sniped it off of eBay. It was just listed under Marvel Sketch Card. Again, great packaging, like triple layered, so that's awesome. It's kind of fearful that it wouldn't show up, just being lost in the mail. But again, this is going to be a two panel sketch. Looks like it's in one sleeve. Oh, never mind. Oh, it is. Okay. Weird. All right, so here it is. Um, Tim Shin this is the artist. I actually saw the card posted on his IG, and I commented. I was like, oh, man, that's a great piece. And then whenever I saw this online for a decent price, I was like, yeah, I definitely got to pick it up. I'll roll the dice, to say the least. Alright, so this is awkward. This is the first time I've ever had like a little thin booklet. But there it is. Sentinels, baby! Wow, that looks cool, man. I actually own a couple pieces of Tim Shin art. And uh, this one looks so awesome. Heck yeah, man. Get a little spot for this guy, see if he fits up here. Dope. Alright, and then this last package, or crap, I got two more packages to go. This second to last package is going to be from the most recent set that just dropped. Well, I guess one just dropped today, being the 3rd of July, but second most recent set. Marvel Flare. I ended up getting involved into a character case break. I was fortunate enough to get the Silver Surfer. Awesome, dude. Wow, I actually got lucky and I got a numbered hit. This is Silver Surfer numbered out of 199. Um, Hobby Legends is the character case breaks I, I got from. Uh, they hook you up with a little 100 pack of sleeves. Pull this out and see what else is inside. Again, I think I may have paid like maybe 25 to 28 bucks for this. Dude, sweet. All right, so we got Sea Blast. Dude, he's got Thanos in the background too. Holy crap. That's awesome, dude. Too cool. We got a base Silver Surfer by Ty. Heck yeah, got a Way Shack Silver Surfer with the Galactus in the background. Awesome. We'll take a little glance. Let me put this C Blast inside of a penny, or a top loader rather. Yeah, again, that one looks freaking awesome, dude.
two coal. Get him a little spot. And then here's that. Out of 199. I think there's like certain names for this. Uh, let's see if it says it. Winter Flare. It's by Ron Lim. Or I guess Ron Lim was the creator. Drawer. Um, beautiful. Tie Rom's up. Sweet, dude. I think it's going to look better. I need a little bit more light. Alright, last thing is going to be from last weekend. They had something on YouTube called Mental Con. And there were donations going on auctions going on to where you can bid on items and the money would go towards a fund and this year they chose comic books for kids they raised over twenty nine thousand dollars for this foundation so huge shout out to all the artists that were involved huge shout out to all the participants that were involved all the people that were behind the scenes much appreciated Thank you, Nathan, for sending this out so fast and neatly shipped. So this is going to be a three-panel sketch. I'll try not to peek at it. So it's Thanos, Crumbs Art, Art of Chris H, Too Cool, and then for the reveal, I guess it's like this, boom, Thanos, try and bring back the camera a little bit so you can see the whole thing, wow, too cool. Much appreciated, man. It's gonna look awesome. Wow. Freaking looks golden all the way around, too. Oh, man, that's too cool. Well, I appreciate everybody stopping in. I'll do a, I guess, a Pack Wars coming up here. I got some Magic the Gathering, ETBs, and a couple Pokemon um, packs to open up. But appreciate everybody stopping in. You guys have a great day. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. But thanks again, guys. Have a great day.